Hi everyone, welcome to The Messy Desk. Today, I'm going to talk about the Pinida Pen Filler. So this is the Pinida Pen Filler. It goes for about 25 USD, give or take. I suppose depending on where you get it from, the price might be slightly different. And basically, it's like a traveling inkwell, but perhaps to differentiate themselves from the Visconti traveling inkwell, they have called it the Pen Filler. So I have one here, or rather I have the box here and the pen filler is in use so the reason why I've kept this box is that it has these two useful holes at the side so there's a minimum and maximum grip size or diameter of the pen that you can use this pen filler with so these two holes help to gauge the minimum and maximum as long as your pen can fit in the maximum hold but not in the minimum hold you're good to go I've been using my pen filler for quite a while. I don't really bring my pens out that much since I don't use them for work but I just find it a nice and convenient way to fill my pens even when I'm at home. So I have the Sailor Gentle Yamadori inside here. That's why it looks really dark. I actually have it filled slightly above the max incline and so far it's been alright. I'm not exactly sure why they specifically limit the amount of ink you put in there. I suppose it might cause some spillage if you fill it all the way up. Not exactly sure, not actually had an incident with this before, but the rated max and minimum of this inkwell is minimum 3 milliliters and maximum of 10 milliliters. Okay, so here I have another one that's unused, so we can take it apart and take a look at it. So this is how it looks like, and there's a few components. First, you can pull out this cap here, and then you can turn this. You can unscrew this, and you have this little rubber thing left in here. So when you use it, you actually wouldn't need to constantly take this whole thing out. So what you need to do is just fill this up with some ink, once you fill it up with ink, you can cap it back and when you are using it, what you need to do is basically take out the cap, put in uh, your fountain pen, you need to fill this converter up with ink. So basically what you would do is you would loosen the cap, stuff it in and then kind of keep it tight and snug in that silicone thing. Close it back and then voila, you find that it actually stays and if you don't pull too hard like I did, you actually can do a filling. So let's try that again. I find it useful to have one hand holding it down and then the other hand tightening it. So it does require a little bit of uh, finesse to, to get this done. If not, you end up having it coming off. Let's try it again, loosen it, stuff it in, and close it at the same time. And there you go. So once this is securely in, you can turn it upside down and do the filling. If you turn the converter a, a few more times with this, you tend to be able to get a full fill. Let's try it with the real thing. Open the cap. Now I loosen this part. You can loosen it a little bit more. Push this in and then I screw it back. Okay, there we go. So you can pretty much hold the pen. And then I just tip it over. And then I turn the converter, so all the way up, and then all the way back down. I suppose if you do it slowly, you get less bubbles, 
and if you are not satisfied just repeat the process again and you should end up with a full fill yep, looks pretty full it's a bit hard to tell since the ink is pretty dark but I'm satisfied so let's just loosen the cap pull the pen out there we go now let's turn this back in and cap it back okay so here we have a full few you do need to clean the grip a little bit and obviously the whole nib is submerged in ink so if you don't like the ink on the nib you do need to clean that up but otherwise it's pretty easy to use as long as you get used to that kind of like stuffing your pen in and, and turning at the same time and yeah that's pretty much it overall I'm, I quite like using it it's pretty convenient I've even tried filling it up on the airplane before and it worked pretty well so the good thing is that you don't have to struggle with ink valves and trying to get the last drop out of the ink valves I guess but the bad thing is if you are not careful and you tip this over you have a much bigger mess so just so ever so slightly wipe that down and cap it back and the pen is ready to go so in terms of size it's actually smaller than a regular pen i have the kakuno here for size it's shorter but you can see that it's much thicker so you might have trouble fitting it into some of your pen cases what i do like to use it with is my nook pen case if i can just find it one hour later here so since this is all plastic and i don't think it needs really a, a pocket of its own if you see you can stuff it into the pocket but it's really quite full it's like at the very limit of the pocket what i prefer to do is you know i can't decide which pens to take with me so i'll have all six pockets here filled with pens and then i just put the, the inkwell in here and stuff it in so i like this case because there's a bit of space Apart from putting the pens, I can put some ink valves and I can put the travelling ink well. The travelling ink well versus ink valves, obviously the ink valves are cheaper. Is it convenient, I suppose? It's kind of like a personal preference thing. This is obviously a more cool tool than this old plastic ink valve, but it's more expensive. I bought like two of them or three of them but so far I've only have one in use whereas I use a lot more of these valves I'm not really sure because I personally don't bring my pens out that much I do bring them if I go overseas but with COVID it's been two or plus years since I last went overseas so I'm not really sure I don't tend to write that much when I'm overseas either so I've only filled up my pens maybe twice when I'm not at home but yeah this is the Pinida traveling inkwell I just love how cool it is and how it can hold a lot of ink certainly can hold more than your typical 5 mil or 7 mil inkwell and yeah let me know what you think of it in the comments do you have one or do you intend to buy one? So that's it for this video. Please hit the like button. Also subscribe to see more. I'll be having a lot more fountain pens and art related videos in the future. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.